I realized during combat the human cost. And I truly, truly hope these incredible young Americans that serve today never have to kill or face being killed. Being at war for 16 years now, our service members and their families are the ones who've carried that burden. We've not lost nearly 7,000 service members, service members who were our friends and somebody's son or daughter. And all across America next month, on the last weekend in May, flags will be flying everywhere as Americans honor the fallen of our generations and generations before us. And on this national holiday, for each of us, it's not wars that we are going to be remembering. Rather, we are remembering our brothers, our sisters, and our friends. We are remembering those who sacrificed to ensure that freedom, freedom will be passed on to the next generation so that our children and our grandchildren may grow up in a better place. No, ladies and gentlemen, we will not gather on this holiday to glorify or to celebrate wars. Rather, we are gathering and will gather to remember that when war comes unbidden to us, there are those who are willing to give their all to defend this great nation. And among veterans, there is no greater hope, there is no greater desire than that our own sons and our own daughters will never have to suffer the terrors or the effects of war. And as I personally think about the sacrifices that so many have made, and I was thinking about what to say this evening, I started thinking, what is it? What is it that inspires an individual to leave the comforts of their own home and everything they know and volunteer to go off the boot camp? What is it about that inspires that individual to go off and volunteer to carry this heavy pack and to sleep out in a mud puddle or out in a hot desert and live a life of hardship? and sacrifice, and deploy overseas, and possibly go into harm's way? And more specifically, what is it that inspires us, and what do we fight for? If you've ever listened to any media reports, or some of the comments that come from individuals which are negative, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I can offer you is this. All that matters all that truly matters is what you believe. All that truly matters is what your teammates who you served with believe. Did they trust you? Could you trust them? Were they there for you? We lived it every day, and only we can understand. In good times or bad times, the reason all Americans have freedom of speech a free press, which many take for granted, is because of you.